This class is all about creativity. It's time for a creativity project to apply what you've learned so far. In this video, we're going to go over your creativity project for Big Idea 1, my favorite artist. Here's an example of the Google Play App Store for Rihanna. There's a bunch of different apps that go about Rihanna. You have some songs. You can see a bunch of these things. We're going to make your favorite artist app. My example is going to be Rihanna, but we want you to use your creativity and create your own favorite artist app. These are the steps we're going to go through, but before we do that, let's first look at the example app. Here's my Rihanna app. Let me just go through it before we show you. Here's screen one. You can see you have here songs, watch videos, games, and social media. If I go to my game screen, you're going to be able to play a song and try to guess the name of the song. So as the song is playing, you will click on the right image. If I go to here songs, you can see this is a scrolling horizontal arrangement. You're going to be able to play all these songs. You can only see two of these guys, but you can see when we test it, you'll be able to scroll it. Here is social media. You're going to have your favorite artist's official website, their Twitter account, their Instagram, and their Vivo. And when you click on these, it's going to update this web viewer. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the web viewer. This is a new tool that we have not gone over yet, but I will show you in this video how to actually implement that. And lastly, videos. So these same songs that you can hear, you're going to be able to click on them, and in this web viewer, in this web viewer you're going to see the video, and that's just going to be a simple YouTube link. So let's actually see what this looks like in my emulator. Let's make this bigger. So you can see home page has these four buttons with a picture of your artist. And click on here. On the here songs, I hear a song in the background. The home icon. You can see I can scroll. You see it says the name of the song. And the artist. Let's go home. Let's go to watch videos. So you can see it's going to play diamonds and it's just a simple YouTube link inside of this web viewer. If I clicked on another video, for example, work. Let's go home. Let's check out games. You see it says, what is the name of the song? Diamond in the Sky, I can hear it. Let's go to social media. So this is her official website. If I click on Twitter, You can see it shows me your Twitter. If I go to Instagram, so you can see it goes to her Instagram. I click on it. Goes to her Vivo. If I go to her website again, and you can see this is her official website. So go back home. Let's 
So that is the favorite artist app that you're going to do for your creativity project. The creativity part is you're going to use your own artist. You're going to have your own songs. You're going to use the same coding skills you did in Animal Park for this. So let's get started. We're going to go to projects. We're going to follow these steps here. Go to App Inventor. We're going to call it My Favorite Artist App. And then we're going to kind of go from there. So go to Projects, Start a New Project, My Favorite Artist App. And we have our screen one. And screen one. will look just like this. Again, first you're going to need those pictures. You know you're going to have those buttons. Let's go ahead and just make all of our screens. So I'm going to need a Rihanna song, or I'm going to need a song screen. So I'm going to add a screen. I'm going to call it Songs. You can see I have screen one and I have songs. For the title, it's going to be whatever your you can see the title should say Rihanna Songs. And I'll just put for here, Your Artist Songs. So obviously, if you choose someone else, you need to put there. Next screen you're going to need to make is the social media screen. So I'm going to click on Add. Call it Social Media. And you can see now you have a screen one, Songs, and Social Media. Obviously for the title, whoever your artist is, and social media. Next screen you see we're going to need to make is video screen. So you want to add screen, videos, and here, your artist videos. So it should look like that. And then we're going to have a game screen. Add a screen. And we'll call it game. And your artist song game. So, first step obviously, you should have all of these screens a screen one, a songs, a social media, videos, and game. You should know how to, to design these. Your home screen will look like this. So, you're going to need a picture of your artist. You're going to need some buttons. This screen you're going to have for songs. You're going to have a picture of your artist. You have a home button. You have a horizontal scroll arrangement. And then you have five songs that have social media. Again, this is a horizontal arrangement. You're going to need these icons, which we can. You're going to have a web viewer. And then you're going to have this at the very bottom, which I will walk you through. For videos, same thing. Looks very similar to your social media screen. You're going to have a horizontal arrangement with all of the songs or images in there. When you click on these images from the video, it will show their YouTube link here. And then the Rihanna game. By the Rihanna game, you're going to have a button, a label, a button again. Then you're going to have these choices so a song will play and you'll select which image that song represents. You can see back up here under the instructions choose one artist that you will need to build this app for. Save all of the following to your computer. You will need one artist image for the background. That is what that is there. You will need six artist album images. So again, you would go to images.google.com and whoever your artist is, you can choose. So if I did Drake, you can see I can go find a bunch of different Drake albums or images. You see you need to do six artist ringtones. So Google Drake ringtones find those that I can download. 
I'm going to need five artist video links from YouTube. So obviously I would need to go to YouTube. I can do Drake. And maybe I go to the official Drake page. And I'm going to need five of these links. So for example, God's Plan, Laugh Now Cry, Tootsie Slide for my video page. And then links to the following for your artist. So I, might, I need the official website, I need their Twitter, their Instagram, and the official Vivo. The media that you're going to need is here. So as you can see, look below some of these things I've given you. So you don't have to search for them themselves. You can click over here. And here are the all the images that you will need. So let's go ahead and download these. So you're going to download these. Here's some examples of the links you need. The website link, five artist YouTube links, six artist album images, and six artist ringtones in order to help you build this out. To get you started, you should know how to do the songs on your own, but we haven't used a web viewer before. You'll need a web viewer for social media. You also will need a web viewer for Rihanna videos. I'm just going to help you design in this video the web viewer. In the next video I will show you how to code the web viewer and I will also show you how to code the Rihanna game. So we're using this. Let's go ahead and open up this image in a new tab. This is our guide. So Let's go to the social media and you can see I have Rihanna Social Media by Jamie Gant. Let's see, I have your artist social media. I need to put in my name, put in your name, obviously, by, I'm gonna type your name. So whoever your artist is, for example, if I chose Drake. So Drake Social Media by whatever your name is. Next thing you see, I need a horizontal arrangement at the top with one, two, three, four, five images. So on the left side, I'm gonna go to layout. I'm gonna pull in my horizontal arrangement. I'm gonna make it fill parent. I'm gonna make the height 50 pixels and click OK. I'll change my default to none. So now I'm going to put in my five little images. I'll go back to user interface. One, two, three, four, five. For all of these, I want them to be fill parent by fill parent. That way they take up all of the space. So the image, just make it fill parent by fill parent. You see it takes up all the space. Now when I click on this one, and I do fill parent by fill parent, takes up all that space and pushes these guys. I want to do this one, fill parent, by fill parent. I do this one, same thing. Fill parent by fill parent. And I do this one again. Fill parent by fill parent. So when I do all of them fill parent by fill parent, they're pretty much sharing the space. That means that they're all the same size. If you look at this, this is BT or IMG Home. So I'm going to come here. I'm IMG Home. Now, this image, this image I've given to you. So I'm just going to go to pictures, upload. You can see I have that right here. And make sure that you make it clickable. This next image is the artist's official website. So I'm just going to rename it. IMG official website. I'll make it clickable. I'm going to upload the website picture. The next image is Twitter. So again I'm going to rename this IMG Twitter. Upload that.
The next one is Instagram, then Vivo. So this one is going to be IMG Instagram. And then this is IMG Vivo. Make it clickable, picture, and there's Vivo. As you can see in the background, I should have a picture of whoever it is. I said this is going to be Drake, so I might just do Drake. And let's say I wanted this picture, or maybe this picture. I'm going to open that image in a new tab, and you can save it, or you can use your snipping tool. I'm just going to grab this part of it, and to do this on a Mac, you do Command Shift 5, and then you can drag this little box. Select where you want to save it to, and select you select that here where you want to save it to. I'm saving it into my favorite artist, and then you simply push Capture. You can actually capture images, or you can actually record video using Command Shift N5 on a Mac. If you're in a Windows, you want to look for your snipping tool, and then you can snip out the picture. So I'm going to capture that. Let's come back here. I want that to be my background. So I'm going to go to Social Media. Here's my background image. I do not have any. I'm going to upload. And it's this screenshot, but I want to rename that Drake background and I'll just choose that so there you go and if you look at this it looks like it's empty but this is actually a web viewer and at the bottom we have kind of like a web browser where you can go back you can go to the home page you can refresh the page and you can delete so in the next video, we'll talk about these buttons, but let's just design it for now. So we need a web viewer in the middle, horizontal arrangement with five images at the bottom. So the web viewer is right here. It is simply a website or a browser that you can put inside of your app. You're simply going to drag it. When you do, you see it takes up the rest of the page. So the web viewer is trying to make sure that the user can see most of the page. The last part of the design is we need to put in our web interactions at the bottom. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make the width fill parent. I'm going to make the height 35 pixels. At the bottom, if you look at it, the background is actually black. So let's make that background color black. And now let's drag in our five different images. I want it inside here. One, two, three, four, five. If you look at it, this is the home icon that I've given you. So this is IMG Browser Home. That is going to be a different picture which you can see up here. I want it to be fill parent. I also want this to be 35. Now, I made a mistake. I should not have made these two the same. I should change this home icon. So we'll fix that in a second. This next one is going to be IMG browser back. I'm going to make it fill parent. I'm going to make the width 35 pixels. I'm going to make the image the browser back button. This one's going to be IMG browser forward. I'll make it clickable. I'll make the height fill parent. I'll make the width 35 pixels. 
I'll make the picture the image I've given you. If you look at the next one, it's a refresh. So this is IMG browser refresh. Clickable, fill parent, 35 pixels, and I give you the refresh. And the last one is the delete. So IMG browser clear cache, which is similar to delete. Clickable, fill parent, 35 pixels, and we're going to put in the trash icon. Last part of this is I want these in the middle. So you can see, I'm going to click on my horizontal arrangement. Instead of saying align left, we want that to be aligned in the center. And this should be a different image. So this one is the browser home. I, you can see that I need to actually upload this, my BTN home, that I downloaded. So there you go. This gets us back to the home page. This gets us back to the browser home page. So it's a little bit different. With this, we are done with the design of social media. I wanted to do this one because we use in our web viewer. It is brand new. You're going to use the same web viewer. You will need to use the same web viewer to design your videos page. Let's quickly just look at the web viewer. You can see it has a home URL. We're pretty much going to set the home URL to Drake's official website, which those are one of the links you need. So I can just simply do a Google search for Drake's official website. And you can copy their website, for example, Drake Republic Records. I can copy that into here and paste it. That's his official website. Um, and then all you're doing is when someone clicks on these buttons, you're changing this property. In the next video, I'll show you how to do that. For today, the first day, what you should focus on is deciding what artists you want to create this app for. Then go gather all of these things. The one artist background image, the six artist album images, the six artist ringtones, the five artist video links from YouTube, save them in some place, and then the links for your favorite artists like their iTunes music, their official website, their official Twitter, their official Instagram, and their official Vivo. Make sure you download these and upload them. Again, I show you here the official website link, the five artist videos that you will need from YouTube for your video page, the five artist album images that you're going to use when someone touches it to play songs, and the six artist ringtones that will play those different songs. Go ahead, use these examples and design and complete the design for your favorite artist, the Creativity Project. In the next video, I will show you how to code the social media screen and we also will go over how to code your game. Everything else you should know how to do, finish the design first.